pay for you to go to school. I don't pay a single dime to go to Northern Illinois. You guys don't know that's that idea. Not even a penny. I don't even pay a penny to go to Northern Illinois. I go there completely for free because I can play football. And if you can go to school to, to play football, basketball, uh, for art, for band, they give scholarships, which is they pay for your school for a lot of different things. How many of you guys know where Northern Illinois is at? Where's that? It's in Illinois. It's, do you guys know where Chicago's at? Yeah. It's about an hour away from Chicago. So when I go to school, I, got, I have a four-hour drive. And so that means you don't live with your family for four or five years of your life. So whenever you graduate high school, you're not with your family. You have to do everything on your own. <laughs> you couldn't imagine that right now because your mom, your mom and dad do everything for you. Cook your meals, do your laundry tuck you in at night, maybe pick out what you're going to wear to school. I don't know if I like the Eagles shirt because I'm a Colts fan, but <laughs> you're a big, big Eagles fan, huh? So uh, the importance of school is huge because if you don't get good grades, and what I mean by good grades, you need to at least get A's and B's and maybe a C every once in a while. No, no D's. You're not allowed to get D's. No Z's. No Z's. No A minuses. <laughs> you can you can get A minuses. Z minus. But <laughs> no Z minuses. That's the worst. But um, at Northern, I I have never gotten I've never gotten a D or an F. And when I was in high school at Norwell, I never got a B. I got all A's. For, I went to Norwell for four years, and I never got an I never got a B there. I got all A's. When I was in middle school at Norwell, I never got I got one B, and the rest A's. Awesome. And, and, and I'm not a I'm not a smart person. Some of you guys might be really really smart. You're smart, but I just worked hard. If you do your homework, if you study, and if you listen to what the teachers have to say, you guys will get all A's and B's. Because, you know, and, and where I grew up with my parents, C's were never acceptable. We weren't allowed to get C's because they're not good. They're okay. I mean, they're in the, they're average. C's and average, but you want to be above average. Because you want to go to you want to go to college, right? And for you to go to college, you have to be able to get good grades. And if you want to play sports, I'm not allowed to get D's. I'm not allowed to get F's. I'm barely allowed to get C's. But you're pretty much you need to get A's and B's if you want to play sports. And that's the same at Norwell Middle School. The same at the high school. If you want to do well, if you if you want to play sports, you have to get good grades. So you guys understand that. So what am I saying? Go ahead. You need to get good grades. So school is fun, right? No. No. Yes. See, school may not be fun all the time, but sometimes you have to realize, like, you have to go to school. You want to do, if you want to be an NFL player someday, you have to do the things you have to do when you're younger, and you have to get good grades, and you have to, you have to do the right things. You can't get in trouble outside of school because someday you guys are going to have friends and and you're going to want to go out and, and TP someone's house or you're, <laughs> you're going to want to go out and, and egg a car or something like that but you can't do that because if you get in trouble you know you can get kicked out of sports or you can get kicked out of school so you want to be very careful what you do and and you want to surround yourself with good friends and I know a lot of you guys are probably really good friends aren't you so you want to make sure whenever you get older you have good friends because because a lot of times people get peer pressure, and peer pressure to, tells them to do something that they shouldn't do. And I was, I did that before. I, I got in trouble. I got in trouble in high school. I went to a party where there was alcohol. Do you guys know what alcohol is? Yes. It's not a good thing. No. Not a good thing. I was, I was at a party in high school, and I didn't even drink any alcohol. But I, since I was there, I got in trouble, and I got suspended from playing basketball in high school for four, I think four or five basketball games. And I didn't even drink anything, but I was there because I did not have good friends. So I decided after that time that I was going to have good friends, do the right things, and I did the right things. And now, you know, I'm you know I'm playing football. You know, I get to do the things that I love to do. I get to play, you know, I get to play on ESPN and um, play against some of the better teams in the country. So they could have presents. So the reason is because I, I do community service. That's why I won that trophy. So. That was pretty cool that I won that. But now, questions. Go ahead. What's a linebacker? A linebacker is someone. Can you answer? Nope. A linebacker doesn't block. They tackle. 
So they're the big guys in the middle on defense that are trying to tackle me. Gary Brackett for the Colts. Go ahead, question. Um, what retirement home do you go to? It's in it's in DeKalb, Illinois, where Northern Illinois is. Why do you do you have a grandparent in a retirement home? No, oh. but I do have one in, in the terrace. Okay, very cool. Go ahead. How many games did you win? I mean, we won eleven games this year. Oh, we won a, we won eleven out of fourteen. You won more than the Colts this year. <laughs> the Colts have won ten. We won eleven. We were eleven Woo! and three. Yes, six. Um, how did you earn to be on the football team? How did I earn to be on the football team? Well, when I was in high school at Norwell, uh, we did pretty well. We went fourteen and one in my senior year, and and colleges saw that, so they wanted me to come play for them. So that's called recruiting. So they recruited me, and uh, I chose to go to Northern Illinois. And then I didn't play my first year. My first year, I didn't play at all because I wasn't good enough. So over that first year at college, I had to work and get strong and learn college football because it's different. It's different than high school football. And uh, I just, it took me a year, but I had to I had to work for it. So you know you have to work for anything. I had to work to, to play, and, and uh, it's, it's been fun ever since. So, so even when you're good in high school, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's without hard work that you get right. to play in college. Uh, that's the same thing with anything. You know, you have to work hard at whatever you do. So, go ahead. How many players are on your team? We have 110 players. Oh, my God! Oh, 110. Like 11. No. And you you're the quarterback out of 110? Wow. Go ahead, bud. Um, since, you're co- since you're in college and you play on the college team, have you ever have you ever Purdue before? We have. And we them? beat them. Oh, yeah. We beat Purdue last season. We beat them uh, 28 to 21 at Purdue. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. PU, right?